What's up guys? Today I'm here with my friend Mohar and today we have a very special surprise for you. We have Mohar. Let's do this bro. We do this? Alright. So it. today we're visiting um, Fox headquarters. Not headquarters, right? Yeah, headquarters. No, it's a uh, fulfillment center. Fulfillment center? Yeah, it's yeah. like the warehouse or something? Yeah, yeah. Alright, cool. Yeah. So, uh, CEO of Fox is actually an alumni from our school. So, uh, we're gonna go there, we're gonna meet him hopefully. And uh, we're gonna record the whole experience for you. So, you be right for this? Do it, man. Do it, man. Serious, man. It's like... Alright, we're here. About to walk in. About to, about to see whatever we can make right here. Alright, man. Hey guys, I'm Ed. Um, I'm the director of business intelligence here at Boxed, um, and I'm here with you folks. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, can you describe Boxed and give people a little background about the startup? Um, yeah. I mean, you know, for Box, actually, Box was uh, our second startup. So I came along with uh, the founders, um, and then we actually were at another startup called Astroid back in 2010. Um, and you know it was a gaming startup right mm -hmm. we were just like okay well you know mobile phones is going to be a hit let's what's what else can we do to obviously you know make money and make a, make a difference so we're like okay well maybe there's an opportunity to make, make some games right and for us you know like we all kind of pull together um you know from different aspects of life you know different you know and we you know just start going at it and then literally Next thing you know, you know, we, we were able to make some few games and then we were acquired by a company called Zynga. Um, and this is, you know, the ones that, you know, made, you know, uh, draw something, uh, words for friends, farm bills, some of these you've heard. Um, it's kind of how everything started and then, you know, a few years into it, our founders, uh, our current founders decided to leave and trying to start something different, right? We felt like there was a, a, a change in mobile technology with like, if you see 10 years ago, no one had mobile phones. Right? Yeah. Or mm -hmm. Ten years ago, now people just had the iPhone. Just first came out. Yeah. Um, but you know, we saw that you know people were using their phone for everything. Now your phone, you can't be. It, it's yeah. not even like it's attached to your hip. Right? <laughs> right. Like, yeah. You can't. You can't even like you know leave. I can't even leave home without it. Right. Yeah. It's, and then so the thing is like okay, you can like you know, check sports, email, social media, Instagram, or, like you know YouTube, whatever. Every, you can do everything on the phone. Mm -hmm. So we're like okay, why why not shop? Right, like at that time in 2013, there's still not many um, apps that allow you to shop. Sure, there's your Amazons, Walmart's in the world, but it was not heavily focused. So then that's kind of why we, you know, kind of dive into. We saw that as an opportunity, right? Because right. we saw the change in behavior. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how we, um, you know, thought that hey, this is, this might be something here. Yeah. One thing we do is, you know, um, we sell things in bulk, right? right. So um, very similar to club stores, but then we sell, you know, the, you know. From snacks, beverages, you know, paper towels, and things like that, and deliver to you. Because the reason why we started that was that most of us were living in New York City um, at that time, and like to go to a you know, Costco, Sam's Club, BJ's mm -hmm. was really difficult, right? Like you needed a car, you needed at that time I don't know Uber was start just started, yeah. right? so <laughs> you needed a taxi or a zip car or things like that. Mm -hmm. So we're like, okay, why not just have it delivered to you? It's a simple concept like that mm -hmm. kind of turned everything, like, you know. So for us, um, you know. Fast forward three years later, you know, you know, we have uh, multiple warehouses across the states, um, and we are, um, you know, shipping to all 48 states um, currently, right? So, um, from four years, um, you know, and 100% honest with you guys that like, you know, no one knew. <laughs> like even like, you know, we were doing that. We, we just had a goal. Like we're just like, okay, well, we there's just there's something big here, sure. um, and we just have the intuition and we just want. No one came from like, oh, I, I went to school for this. I went to, you know, I learned this from someone to do this, right? Like a lot of us were fairly new at this, right? Like, um, you know, a few were ex-lawyers where I was, you know, I was doing game design. I was, you know, I was a banker in a past life finance, right? So like no one told me how to buy stuff too, right? So, um, 
but yeah, I mean, it's just that you learn as you go, right? And the thing is, what's different is that, you know, um, you, you, you fail a lot. Like, you could definitely fail a like, lot. People say this all the time, but like, you're gonna learn as you go. Um, and no one's gonna tell you how to do it. Because in the end, if someone thinks that, if someone tells you that they have to do it, I, I wouldn't believe it because unless they have done the exact same shit yeah. before, um, it's 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 uh, very difficult to you know. So everyone goes through the, that path in very very different ways. Right? So um, yeah. So. so what would you say to a student at high school or college who one day would like to be an entrepreneur, or wants to start their own company, or just get into the field? Yeah, like I said to you guys, man. Back when I was playing, you know, I was playing video games. I was playing, you know playing balls, that, that's about it, right? Like, I was thinking about starting a company. So, like, were you guys already head start, like, uh, this young, where, you know, um, you guys can take many risks? I say go for it, right? Like, I think whether, whether if it's successful or not, you guys learn from it, right? Like, yeah. this is shit that they don't teach you in school, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I went to Rutgers, yeah. study economics, right? Our founders went to um, Hopkins, also economics yeah, and stuff. Yeah. They're not gonna tell you about, like, okay, how to run a startup, right? Yeah, sure. like, they're not gonna tell you that. Now there's courses, Unless it's someone teaching that has done it, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah. You, it's it's you know it's it's definitely at, at your age, right? Like you know, it's it's awesome to see, and with the power of social media these days, you can reach so much more people, right. which we didn't have, right? Like I talk like I'm freaking ancient, but no, no, yeah, it's so, just number. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then you have a lot more hair here. <laughs> so, um, but. But yeah, I mean, like with the technology you have, it's very easy, right? Um, you know, and but at the same time, like a lot more people are doing it too, right? So your competition a lot more. Yeah. So things are easier to get into. Well, you know, you have an idea, like I was saying before, yeah. you have an idea. Probably a hundred people have that same idea. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, all comes down to execution. Mm -hmm. um, who's going to do it first? Who's going to do it right? Yeah. Right. So, uh, and there's no one telling you what to do, right? There's a lot of times, like eventually, like if you guys do deal with investors. They will think that they know what they're doing. Sometimes they don't, right? Like unless again, unless they've done it before. Yeah, yeah. Like, but usually never. It's never the same. Okay. So, um, really trust trust your heart um, more on anything, right? And then also know who your customers are. Uh -huh. um, if you're dealing with that, know who your target audience is. Sure. Most importantly, right? That goes for who's, if you want to be a successful YouTuber yeah. or any like you know. Um, Content wise, like you have to know who you're open to. If you right. don't know, you're just shooting into the like, the wind, and you you know it's it's you you waste a lot of time. Yeah. Right. So, so um, can you take us back to the beginning, like the garage, and, yeah. and what really inspired this, and what was like the start of creating this? <laughs> garage is because we got no money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, started the garage, and like yeah, I mean, it's someone's garage. Right? Everything so, great starts in the garage. Huh? Everything great starts in the garage. Yeah. Right? Everything. Yeah. So. Wow. Um, yeah, I mean, first of all, because first, in, in terms of what we're doing, you need space, right? To store all this stuff, you need something, right? So the garage was the only thing, right? Uh, yeah. and some people might not even have garages, so I'm like, dude, I think we're a leg up already. <laughs> so, um, you know, I mean, it's just just to start out, just because you know, for you guys, you know, renting a space, where it is, location, you know, all that stuff, it comes into play, right? So for us, like, we want to test, right? One thing is like always test. We want to test that this concept it works, right? Mm -hmm. Like, otherwise, if we were to go and like go for a nice warehouse or anything like that, then you might be wasting a lot of money in the first place, right? Yeah. A lot of it's conserving your cash. Um, you know, people do things differently. Some people just go go all out and just like as soon as they start raising money, like they have the first million dollars that they raise, mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a nice, <laughs> nice, nice, nice desk, yeah, yeah. nice, you know, warehouse, nice right. office. No, it doesn't work like that. We went the other way. We tried to save as much as possible. Right. Um, so much possible that I wasn't, even, you know, paid to be in it. But that's a different story. <laughs> but like, this is the stuff that you have to give up, right? Yeah, like, right. you have to, yeah, uh, you know, it's just like, okay, there was an idea, and like, let's let's run with it. And worst case, you know, if, like, if it doesn't work, then you just move on, right? Move on something different. But at least you learn, like, why it didn't work, right? Mm -hmm. So with the garage, it's just like to really, you know. Uh, I Right. <laughs> so, so what do you do when you have those moments of doubt and like you feel like everything's just not working out right now? Like, what, what do you, what would you suggest to do to people like if they're in that state right now or if they're like feeling like they're, they're not, they don't know what they're doing? Yeah, you would always, they, there would always be that, right? And anything, all works of life, when, whether it's like an exam or your 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 major that you're majoring, are yeah. you in the right major? If your job, you're in the right job, career, all that stuff. 
you know, it's always gonna happen, right? So you always gotta, I, I, for me, I always try to look at the bright side so it over, you know, so it doesn't, you know, I don't always be, you know, I surround with, I also surround myself with people who are positive as well yeah. too. I think that that helps a lot. Yeah. Uh, but if you always surround with people like, oh, I hate my job, I hate this, <laughs> yeah. I hate that, you do, you 100%, <laughs> you'll probably follow that route that too, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, there will be doubt, right? There will be doubt. Even for us, when we first started, it's like, is this concept going to work? Amazon can destroy us, you know, things like that. So, like, there's a, you know, there's just, there, there can be so many possibilities, right? But like, in the end, like, if you don't try, you'll never know. If, if you if you go back to all the people that have been successful back in the past, like look at this Apple. If you guys follow like how Steve Jobs did, you know, there was he was fired, right? He was yeah. fired from his own company, mm -hmm. right? You hear shit like that. You know, uh, with Amazon, they almost went bankrupt in the early like the dot com yeah. works, right? So like all these great companies now, you can see, and that's how you probably can use that as like mm -hmm. you know encouragement, right? So yeah. because. You know, there's other people have done it in the past that have probably went through the same things that you're going through now. Yeah. If you can go through that, I think that that's gonna definitely help you in the future. Right. Um, so, yeah. Um, ever since Box was founded in 2013, you guys have seen immense growth and you know innovation. So, what was the balance between having patience and also executing fast? So. Mm, we always have to execute fast. I mean, the thing is, being when you're small, I think that's the leverage that you have over large companies, right? You can be nimble and you can move quickly. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the term fail fast, right? Like, it's literally like if you try it, test, right? Like, things don't work, you move on right? quickly, right? So, the more you hang on to it, the more, you know, time consuming, you know, right? So, um, I mean, at, at the same time, you always gotta be confident in what you're, you know, going into as well, too, right? Because the thing is, you're not sure, then like you're gonna take it like, okay, you're not gonna go to go in at 100%, then right. you're not gonna get the results that you want already, right? So that's kind of how we're gonna. Um, what's next for Box, and where do you see the company going? That's not my question. I'm not the CEO. <laughs> no, I'm not the um, definitely, you know, for you know, for us, it's just you know, it's basically. You know, um, reach out to more consumers and like, you know, um, and basically become like more of a household name. You know, right. just to you know, if like my personal goal with to see boxes to like, hey, be on the walls with like the largest retailers in the world, right? I think that's that's one thing that you know to see it come. I mean, we'll see where we have come from the beginning to now, and then also like the the long journey ahead of us. That's yeah. kind of where you know. Um, that's, that's gonna be our, our challenge, right? Okay. It's definitely not gonna be an easy road. It's yeah. not a straight path, and it never is. Um, there's gonna be bumps and you know obstacles along the way. Um, and yeah, so it's, 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 but at the same time, I look back, mm -hmm. dude, everything was exciting, man. Yeah. And regardless of like things were that did well and something did well, I mean, there's always ups and downs, right? right. But like, you know, it's just how you look at things. So back when you were a student at JP, did you ever did you ever think that you would ever be here the doing no. this? No, no. <laughs> I was telling you this that like you asked me five years ago if I was no, I was gonna be here. I would not know. I mean, a lot of times that goes in interview questions, like when you could see yourself in five years. I, I like, <laughs> um, but you, I think that you guys have the right attitude in terms of like how you guys are going to look at it. You guys are career focused, right? Like, you know, I know people like ten years older than you that still don't know what they want to do. Like, right? Like, even though you guys might not have. You know, you guys have a lot of great ideas. You, 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 I asked you five years from now, you might do something different. But as long as you have the aspiration, the heart, right? Um, that I think that's that's what matters. Like for me, even when like I work with people, I see I love working with people that just have that energy, the energy level that want to do something. They might not be the smartest person in the world. They might not, but they have the effort behind it, the drive. That's what I look at, right? And I see that in like you know entrepreneurs. Like if you have that, then. It, it goes a long way, right? It's not always about the, the bringing in the book smart person that knows, knows this and that, right? But I like, guess the person that has the most drive. Thank you. All right, one last question. If you could leave us with one piece of advice about starting something, what would it be? Um, one piece of advice, I probably have a lot. I'm trying to find one. Um, persistence is key. Right. There's a lot of times there's going to be a lot of people that doubt you, even family members, including ourselves, right? Like, you even doubt yourselves, right? But um, know that, you know, if you can stay persistent, I think that's that's kind of the, the way to go. Um, yeah, so like, with, with 
doubters, I mean, it can be anybody, it can be your closest friends, family, um, but if you have that, you know, that positivity to, to, to just go, go through, then I think that's, 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 that's you know, no one's gonna stop you, right. you know, um, I think that goes for anything, right, but um, since that's, I think that's what we're doing. Thank you. All right, yeah. Thank you. Man. Yeah, man. Nice meeting you. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. <laughs> so, how do you uh, feel about the experience? Dude, that was crazy. It's crazy? Yeah. Yeah, I had fun. I, I fun. love them, dude. <laughs> yeah, we love box. Go shop at box, guys. Go shop at box. Yeah. <laughs> All right, peace out, guys.